Hey guys, I'm Elliot. This is Everything Elliot. Thanks for stopping by. Today is the day of the big move. It is a gloomy day out here, so I figure what better day than to move the splitter and conveyor because I finished all of the firewood that was up here. Last time I moved this equipment, I moved it with the tractor and I said to myself, well, Elliot, everybody probably doesn't have a tractor. So today I've got my Polaris Sportsman 400. It's not a big ATV, it's just a small utility ATV. We're gonna see if we can move this stuff around. On the animal, I've got the drawbar off the back there. That's the one that I welded on so I could put it up to the conveyor and back and stuff like that. So you saw me with the tractor, it was nice and easy. Today, we're gonna see what it takes to do this by hand getting everything lined up and moved. So the parking brake, and we can do one of these numbers. If there was something good to grab onto here. There's not though. All right, let's see if we can get this hitch on here. Pull the wheel chocks out. Now we're not gonna tow it all the way back here with this reverse draw bar on. I'm just gonna pull it away from the splitter and then we'll hook it on the side it's supposed to be hooked on. So it's a pretty simple system actually. That is the hitch for it, and then it's got a upward angle because the trailer jack hooks into it. We're gonna clear some of those scraps out of there, and then you can see that square tubing in there that the hitch goes into. Pretty foolproof if you ask me. All right, so the hitch is installed. Now we just gotta put the trailer jack on. Might be high enough. Oh, we're super close. Might come just enough. There we go. All right, so that is the full weight of the conveyor onto the ATV. We'll take this off so there's no accidents. Just set it up there. Let's see if it'll pull it. So I see an issue already. Even with the full weight of it on the ATV, it might just be a hair off the ground there, so we're going to see if we're dragging that or not. Alright, that's an issue. Okay, plan B. I don't know what plan B is yet, but plan B. Alright, so plan B. We've got the splitter hooked up to the ATV. The uh, conveyor is still over there. Splitter, ATV, we're gonna get it in the back and then we'll uh, come figure out plan B for the conveyor. So since this is a 400, we're just gonna rock low gear all the way back. I don't wanna stress out high gear. It's not a huge horsepower motor, so we're gonna use gearing to our advantage. Tight squeeze. Uh -huh. 
Now I haven't exactly figured out what configuration I want to put this in yet so it'll work best for me in this situation that we have here. However, we have the log splitter back here. We can do the fine tuning after we figure out the conveyor issue. So let's talk about a solution with the ATV. Now, if I had a two inch receiver on this ATV, it'd be a non-issue. Let me explain why. So this is your standard hitch that you'd have in your truck. I have like 10 of them laying around and this is a one inch receiver. Now, these come on small vehicles and apparently newer Polaris's. My old Polaris had a two inch receiver and if I still had that old TV, we wouldn't have an issue here. This being a one inch receiver, I cannot put this in here. The obvious solution is to go buy another one of these that is like a six inch drop, like this one is. What you would do is you would take this six inch drop, you'd put it in upside down just like this, take this ball off and flip it up to, on top. That would give you the clearance you'd need. I don't have a six inch drop in a one inch receiver. I only have this inch and a quarter drop that the ATV came with. Now, I also don't have the 45 minutes to drive to town the 10 minutes at the store and the 45 minutes to drive home. I just, I don't have that time to do that today. The easiest solution for me is to just use my tractor. If you're in this situation and you need to move it with an ATV, my recommendation would be to go to the store, buy a one inch receiver that has like a six inch drop. That way you could run it this way. Hey guys and gals, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the like button down below this video. That would help my channel with the YouTube algorithm. If you don't know how the YouTube algorithm works, it's pretty simple. The more people that like videos, watch longer, and subscribe after watching a video, tells YouTube that, hey, more people might like this video, and in turn, YouTube will push this video out to more people. So if you've watched more than one of my video, you enjoy my content, do me that favor, hit the like button, and the, and the subscribe button while you're at it. Hit them both. Thanks. There, I can lift it right up. No problem. Houston, we have a problem. It's too big. I'm glad I didn't try this with the ATV. Probably should have taken some measurements, but here we are. So my tractor is six foot wide and I kind of thought this was six foot wide too, but my tractor fits through here. You can see we are tight up against that tree. And if you come over here, we are gonna hit that tree. So this will not fit back here this way. However, there is a solution. Looks like the sun's uh, deciding to peek out a little bit. That's kind of nice.
All right, so now that both of them are back here, we can kind of try to decide what we want to do. And honestly, I don't know yet. I got to kind of look at the pile. I still don't have IBC totes, so that's a major issue. What I'm thinking about doing in the meantime is just laying out a pallet floor and dumping the wood onto a pallet floor. That way it keeps it off the grass and keeps it from getting wet and moisture and moldy and breaking down essentially. I don't know, I've got a line on a couple IBC totes but they haven't come to fruition yet so I'm, I'm kind of trying to wait that out but I also don't have all the time in the world so I can't sit and wait forever. Move 10 feet, stop the camera, move the camera, move 10 feet, stop the camera, move the camera. That is the order of operations for making a YouTube video. Get your steps in, that's what you do, for sure.